But before that, we are going to visit with our first guest, who is a 14-time Grammy nominee, and she is here today to bake us delicious peanut butter oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Oh, my goodness. From her home in Nashville, please say hello to Martina McBride. Hey, Martina. Hi. I'm How so happy to be here with you. We are so happy to see you and to have you here. You look great. Your kitchen's beautiful. And I would just like to say these cookies, whoa. I mean, this may be my brand new favorite holiday cookie, or really just cookie for any time of the year. They are packed with all sorts of delicious ingredients. What do you love most about these cookies? That's really what I love about them. I mean, think about it. You have a chocolate chip cookie, a peanut butter cookie, and an oatmeal cookie all rolled into one. And then you put peanuts in there for a little bit of crunch. And it's just like the perfect cookie. It really is. It's super elevated. There's something super special about this. And it feels sort of more sophisticated than your regular peanut butter or any sort of oatmeal cookie, right? Yeah. OK. So but, but it's but they're super easy to make. I know. They come together very quick. So it starts with your dry ingredients. You say you put, you mix the dry ingredients together. So what do we mix into our flour? So we mix three cups of rolled oats, old-fashioned rolled oats, not the quick cooking kind. OK. And so we're going to mix in there, kind of have a too small of a bowl, but that's OK. Third cup of flour. OK. Teaspoon each of baking powder and baking soda. Right. Quarter teaspoon of salt. So is it important to use the old-fashioned oats, not the quick ones? Yes, it is. They, they um, you know, it's better for the baking, and also they, they just add this really good chewy texture to the cookie. The other ones maybe get too mushy, maybe, when you're cooking them. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. All right, so we have combined our dry ingredients. Now, over here in the stand mixer, I hope I did this right, I put brown sugar, I put regular sugar, some butter, and some eggs, and I creamed them together. That's right. That's exactly right. And then to this um, mixture, we're going to add some peanut butter. Oh, so good. Could we add almond butter or even like a? Of course. Almond butter, uh, any kind of nut Hazelnut butter. Hazelnut butter. Oh, that would be good. Oh, my gosh. All right. Peanut butter. I'm going to blow your mind and tell you maybe add some Nutella in there, too. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> Could you just get better and better? And we're then a little bit of vanilla eggs. extract? Yeah, we're going to put some vanilla, a couple of eggs. OK. And I don't have it. I don't have a um, outlet in my island, so I would be mixing these with my stand mixer if I did, but uh, I don't. Hey, that's so. fine. A stand mixer is just as a stand mixer or a hand mixer. Yeah, because the thing is, not everybody has a stand mixer, right? Exactly. So, they take up a lot of space. And, and, and vanilla. Where's my vanilla? Oh, here it is. Now, these are, this is a pretty thick dough, huh? Yeah, but it ends up being really kind of fluffy at the end. And, and of course, it has the crunch from the peanuts and um, the chew from the rolled oats. It's just, it's just delicious. So now I'm moving ahead a little bit, and I'm adding all the rolled oats in here with the flour. Is that all right? Put that in next, which I'm going to wait and do, because I'm, I'm going to put this on my stand mixer in a little bit and mix up okay. a batch for my family. But we put in the, the dry ingredients, and then um, we put in... Oh. And I just, whoo, it just blew up at me. There we oh, go. Oh, yeah. You got to be careful. Yeah, you got to put it on low. And now the. We're the gonna add, then we're going to add two cups of, of whole salted peanuts and two cups of chocolate chips. Any that. particular type of chocolate chips? Just, I, I like, I think um, semi sweet is what I'm using today, but I really like dark chocolate chips too. Kind of yeah. just depends on what you like. So good. And dark, and dark chocolate's chocolate. good for you too, by the way. Doctors say you should eat dark chocolate. Yeah. I'm not sure how much, but <laughs> I'm going with that. Wine, right? <laughs> exactly. And I love that you're using the beautiful peanuts that are straight out of the shell. That's nice. Yeah. The roast ones, are the, you know, the ones that are like really fresh. Yes. Okay. And they're salted and roasted as well. Yeah. So those, mix all of that together. And then I happen to make a batch a little bit earlier. So. That's beautiful, and that does come together very quickly. As you all just saw, we're making it live. And then th this batter doesn't have to sit or anything. You just scoop it out on a sheet tray, right, and put it in the oven? Just put it in the oven. And uh, see how kind of light it is? It's kind of fluffy or something. It really is fluffy. That's interesting. Yeah. I mean, with all that stuff in there, you wouldn't th you'd think it would be more dense, but it's, yeah, it's very fluffy. And I, I imagine you probably don't put them too close together, huh? Right. They do spread a little bit. Now, how long do these go in the oven for, and at what temperature? These go in at 350 for about 10 or 11 minutes. OK. And I baked some earlier, too. And when they come out, they smell amazing, and they look like this. 
Oh, I can't wait. Mine are coming out too. Hang on. Oh, these are beautiful, Martina. Wow. They're so, so, <gasps> They're so lacy makes, looking. It makes a big batch, you know, it makes quite a few cookies. So it's good for gifting. Like if you have a last minute, you need a last minute hostess gift or something to drop on a friend's front porch, uh, which I'm doing a lot of now, nowadays. Dropping so off little lovely. treats. They're so, the they're so beautiful and light and sort of lacy looking. Yeah. They're really pretty. They oh my good. Good. So, mm. Martina, excuse me, because I just had to have a bite of how delicious these are. I wanted to talk about your partnership with the Red Cross. You have partnered with them to encourage folks to donate blood this holiday season, which is super important this year. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, you know, the need for blood doesn't stop just because we're in a pandemic or it's a busy, busy time of year. Everybody's super busy with their online shopping and, and um and wrapping and cooking and baking cookies and all that stuff. So it's important to remember, um, especially at this time of year to, to donate blood. And, you know, it goes to everything from accident victims that women use it. Sometimes you need it in childbirth. For me, the first time that I'd ever seen um, donated blood given was earlier this year, my mom was in the hospital and she needed some blood. And it, so it all of a sudden became very personal to me. You know, that's right. And um, and so it's just a great way to give back to the community, and especially during the holiday season. It's true, and it's so easy to do. Like truly, donating blood doesn't take much more time or energy than it does to bake these cookies. By the way, right. And just and you ha you should remember to eat something that's rich in iron before you donate, and these cookies fit the bill. So you can actually have a cookie before you go give. <laughs> I love it. There you go, because they have all of those oats in them, makes them full of iron. And I don't know if this is true. Maybe you can help me out here. But I heard that donating blood actually burns calories. So maybe you can have three or four of these before you go. Exactly. It does burn calories. So yeah, just just uh, go for it, I say. <laughs> Who knew? Martina, thank you so much for being here. And thank you for all the work you're doing to make sure that people are giving blood. Have a very ha happy holiday season. We'll see you soon, OK? All right, you too. All right, make sure to follow Martina on Instagram at Martine McBride. And as always, you can grab this terrific recipe at hallmarkchannel.com.